Hello, my strong, strong friends. Good morning. I just woke up, if you couldn't tell. And I'm having a coffee. Today we're doing a full day of eating. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. We're doing a full day of eating. I haven't done one of these. I am, today, I am 29 and four days pregnant. 29 and three or four days pregnant. And this will be what I'm eating in the third trimester. I don't have any meals planned, so everything will be completely random. First up is a coffee. I usually limit to one cup of coffee a day and maybe like a diet soda or something that has a little bit of caffeine in the afternoon sometimes, but that is one change that I've made during pregnancy. I try to stay under 200 milligrams of caffeine per day. One time I tried to go cold turkey when I first started trying to get pregnant. And then I was like, oh God, <laughs> that is difficult. Okay, let's get ready. Because I am very curious, I recently hit the 170s and I'm still going up 170 pounds, 0.8 <sighs> PR, pregnancy PR. I've been asked a couple times how I feel about gaining weight during pregnancy. And so far I am not much heavier than my heaviest. So we'll do a little reveal of my bump. So this is what I look like at 29 weeks. I'm going to go swimming um, for a morning workout. I never do that. Maybe I'm trying to impress you. But um, yeah, people have asked me like body image questions, how am I feeling? And so far I haven't really had to come to huge qualms with like, oh my God, I lost my body or anything like that because I myself personally, before being pregnant or even thinking about being pregnant have gone through drastic weight fluctuations before from 138 pounds. I believe no <laughs> from like 132 pounds I think was my lowest for my bodybuilding competition actually maybe I got down to 128 to 168 which is my heaviest and that was in the span of like four months so being my lightest adult weight ever to my heaviest adult weight ever and so that forced me to deal with a lot of things internally and so I think that growth has helped me with my mindset now. It sucked at the time, but I guess I am thankful because it just ended up making, once I finally got through that and started thinking more in the way that I do now, just made my life so much better and easier and focused on things that actually matter. So in my bathing suit, I am going to go swimming at the community pool. This bathing suit is a little skimpy for the community pool, but I'm hoping that there's only old people there. Cause it's eight in the morning. Let's see. Okay, back from swimming. I swam 22 minutes. And I just swam in like the kiddie pool area. <laughs> I'm not a great swimmer. I mean, I'm okay, but like there were four people taking up two laps. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna ask to work into that set. Um, but here's my breakfast. I made a veggie scramble. There's mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach, and onions in, red and white onions, and then three eggs. Um, Eggs are like pregnant people's superfood. And then I've got some, one slice of Dave's Killer Bread and some sliced apples with cinnamon. Delicious. Ryan, what are you making? Health. He's making health. He's making a green smoothie. Which he what? never has green smoothies and he's been on a green smoothie kick because, what's this? Top secret. <laughs> are those, no, I don't want to tell them. Should we show them this in the, uh... YouTube the other. Did we tell them exactly what it is? Yeah, we showed this, remember when we were in the office? And we filmed it? Oh, that's the protein. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my breakfast. And here's Ryan smoothie. Here, cheers on camera. You gotta get close to me. Boop. Look how cute the glasses are. These little goblets. <laughs> Mm. 
Whoa, that's good. So it's frozen mango, frozen pineapple, fresh spinach. Our new protein flavor that's coming. We just placed the order for it, right? Uh, yeah, last week. Should we tell them the flavor? We'll tell YouTube flavor because YouTube. We showed like, them the flavors. Remember yeah. So the remember a couple of weeks ago we tried the strawberry banana. That's what flavor this is inside of this, which I'm excited for because I think it's vanilla sad. is good with vanilla protein is good with um, like most smoothies, but you get a little more flavor with mm -hmm. something like this. Honestly, and I, I can taste the strawberry mm -hmm. banana. Because I didn't add any bananas like frozen or mm -hmm. otherwise, but the the vanilla we tried it was too thin. Yeah. So they're reworking that a little bit for some basic I feedback. mean, These vanilla protein is like, eh. Anyway. Especially if it's not great. It's just not really worth doing. Um, I'm going to make a five minute Friday video about this, but people always ask like, oh, what protein powder should I try if I'm pregnant? And I'm bringing five minute Friday back, by the way. And I think there's a couple things you need to evaluate. One, you should look for a trusted brand. Two, look for someone who does third-party testing so that the ingredients that are on the supplement facts panel are actually what's inside. So stay away from proprietary blends. Um, and that's, most people should probably do that. Stay away from proprietary blends just because they could at least be a waste of money. And then also I would look for like a 100% whey or 100% whey isolate. Sometimes protein powders will add like digestive enzymes to make it a little bit easily digested. So you might find that in good protein powders, but look for something that doesn't have a ton of stuff added when you're pregnant. Some of those ingredients that are added might be beneficial to you, um, but yeah, I would look for a 100% whey, kind of straight up protein powder. Now, the last thing to consider if you're pregnant and considering a protein powder or really any supplement is can I get this from whole sources? Can I get this from protein that I can eat? That may be a little bit safer of an option. I mean, just safer meaning like if you're buying a random protein that is from a brand that isn't trusted and isn't third party tested, then you do run the risk that maybe there's something in there that they didn't disclose. Ask yourself why you're supplementing and also can you get this from a whole food source? So, all right, I'm all ready for the day. This is my OOTD. Another, well, we already showed the bump in the bikini. <laughs> um, my OOTD going for like half um, dad, half mom. What am I talking about? How do you describe an outfit? I mean, honestly, who, who cares? Let's talk about what I'm eating. <laughs> Um, so I'm about to sit down for work and before I get started, I'm going to have my prenatal. This is the prenatal that I take from Thorn. This is, um, it's fine. The only annoying thing is that I have to take three pills. Here's the supplement facts panel so that you guys can check it out if you're interested in this. This came recommended. This brand is the same brand that Dr. Rhonda Patrick used during her pregnancy and I like her and what she has to say. Um, she also supplemented with fish oil, um, which I have been doing as well. So these are the only true supplements that I've been having other than the occasional protein powder supplement. And honestly, I will supplement protein powder whenever I feel like I need it. And maybe I just didn't get enough protein throughout the day <laughs> um, for whatever reason. So yeah, those are the only supplements that I take. No, I do not take pre-workout. I do not recommend you take pre-workout. And that's coming from someone who has a supplement company. And I'm obviously speaking in regards to taking pre-workout during pregnancy. I cannot wait till I'm finished breastfeeding and I can start having some pre-workout. I'll be talking to my doctor about whenever I'm introducing things like that. But yeah, it's just like a necessary thing to introduce during pregnancy. And I think you have to really evaluate like whatever risks a certain supplement brings versus the rewards that it, that it may give you. So in other news, I don't know if you notice, but I did get Invisalign. Can you tell as I'm this far away? 
I feel like my teeth are shifting a little bit. I'm on my second tray of 27, so it's gonna be a little bit of a long journey for me. Not that long compared to other people who have Invisalign, but um, yeah, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so far, so good. My experience has been so good. Maybe I'll do a full wrap-up video of my changes, but yeah, that's what's exciting. I will say it does affect the frequency of eating. I'm less likely to want a snack or like a soda or any other drink other than water because it's a pain in the ass to take these things in and out, especially when you're in those first few days of your trays. But I'll get through it. It's going to be fine. Okay, so let me get to work. I'm going to try to record a few YouTube videos today and see what I can do. Bye. I'm taking a work break and having a very random assortment of food for my kind of lunch. So in here, let me show you. I have half of an avocado and on top of this avocado is something called salmon roe or these are basically fish eggs or like caviar. If you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant and had sushi, they call this ikura. So you can get it like, it's delicious in my opinion, but you can also get it in like a sushi roll super famous thing to have on top of sushi. And you can see these are like pretty big as far as like how big the fish eggs are. So not like some of the smaller garnishes that are seen on sushi. Yeah, it's called Salmon Row and it is delicious. So I wanna talk about this a little bit. This method of having Salmon Row is a little controversial because obviously it is raw fish that I'm eating, basically. So yes, these are raw fish eggs that I'm eating. I get these from a place called Vital Choice. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in learning more. But I know that the place that has these is a trusted brand. When they arrive to me, they are frozen and they flash freeze these at like a certain amount of degrees to where it kills all bacteria and risk of these being contaminated. Now you may want to be careful eating and consuming raw fish due to contamination of the food and typically that has to do with it being at a restaurant and like the fish being out for too long to make it basically spoil. So these come frozen to me. I keep them frozen until I'm ready to eat them. They defrost in my freezer or in my fridge and then I consume like within a week. This is probably like two tablespoons. Dr. Rhonda Patrick, wow, am I a fangirl? She just has a lot of interesting nutrition information for pregnancy and things that she promotes. And one of them is the use of salmon roe, especially in the third trimester. So the hope is that my baby will be smart and get a lot of the nutrients that are inside of these while they're going through the most brain development in the third trimester. So I thought I would share that with you guys. I'll link Rhonda Patrick and the information that she has on this specifically so that you can learn more and make the decision for yourself if you're pregnant and interested in trying it. If you're not pregnant, it is a delicious snack. It is something that is an acquired taste though. So if you don't like sushi, you might not like it, uh, but I think it's delicious. Also in here, I have random. These are cauliflower tater tots, and then I'm gonna have this cottage cheese with some kind of berry, like preserved berry on top. Super random sort of lunch, but I can't be mad at it. I'm gonna put lemon juice, a spritz of lemon juice on top of that. It makes it taste a little bit better. I'm having a little 4 p.m. snack, 4.30 p.m. A tiny bit of coffee. This is like an espresso cup <laughs> that I put coffee in, so it's not espresso. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of chocolate, dark chocolate, and then these are amazing. It's kind of like a Ferrero Rocher, but the Godiva version with a dark, dark chocolate nougat, not a hazelnut. So good. Oh my God, I was like, why is my camera broken? But my glasses are polarized so I can't actually see. It's like really weird. Anyway, who cares about that? Okay, my work day has been very boring. Just work made a TikTok and work, which is most of my life spent at my desk. So I'm really excited because we're going out to eat. Oh my God. So hopefully I can find something nutritious, but also delicious, probably more so delicious, but I'm excited because I am driving and we just got a new car. 
I'm not gonna do like any car reveal or anything, but it's a nice car and I have literally never driven a nice car in my life. Not even like renting a nice car or anything. And so when we bought, we, we needed a safer vehicle and something that would make sense to take a car seat in and out, you know what I mean? So we upgraded a little bit and I haven't driven it because my ankle was sprained last week. I sprained my ankle. It's been so annoying. So I'm finally driving the new car, which I haven't driven her in like a week. So we're off to go eat at a really cute place. We'll take you there, don't worry. This is called a rosemary ginger tonic. No, rosemary grapefruit tonic. A fake mocktail for me. That makes me feel special. One Shirley Temple, please. <laughs> Let's try it. It gives you that satisfying feeling like you're drinking a cocktail, but the not drunk part. That is the actual satisfying part. Well, I had to get really close to your face to zoom in so that I could hear your sound, but also not get people behind you in the camera. Oh. I'm like, can you see the buttons on my teeth? Oh, gross. Okay, I'm carving up. I got the rigatoni with chicken and a nice little ciabatta. And then Ryan, oh, yours looks so good. He got the ahi tuna salad with double ahi tuna. Pretty generous. Yeah, that looks so good. There you go. Look at this slow pan. Beauty. We ordered an appetizer, but it came out and then that wrong order. Which I'm fine with. You seem to do fine over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, garnish. Today too. You were like, I was like, I'm wearing a crop top today. <laughs> okay, we are back home from our dinner. It was amazing. We haven't been out to eat in a little while, at least not like something that wasn't Uber Eats. <laughs> and that's definitely not something that, like tonight, I had a pretty decadent meal, I would say, with the pasta and the dessert. And that's not something that I do all the time, but tonight it just felt right. I do get quite a bit of prenatal nutrition questions and I'm definitely no expert when it comes to prenatal nutrition. I guess my biggest tip if you are someone who's interested in figuring out what to eat while you're pregnant is to do a little bit of research but also try to lean into your hunger cues and listen to them because they have definitely been up and down for me with first trimester food diversions into second trimester having moments where I was like so hungry I would like find myself so hungry and understanding that I just needed to adjust my portion sizes accordingly so I wouldn't just like fall hungry so it's been a I don't want to say a roller coaster but it's something that I'm really thankful that I have very good um I'm in tune with my hunger cues and people always ask like, oh, do you count macros? How many more calories are you eating? And I don't know, I'm definitely eating more calories, but I would suggest that people get in tune with their hunger cues if you're in that like trying to conceive phase or thinking about one day having a baby. It just is like one less thing to worry about as far as being worried about like what you're eating or how much you're eating. It's just nice to know that you can lean on yourself and your intuition in some ways. So I have videos on intuitive eating that might be helpful if that's something that you're interested in learning more about. So I'll link those down below or right here. But yeah, I definitely don't go out to eat and have such a decadent meal every night by any means, but tonight felt good to do. It was nice to go on a little date, have a little 
fake cocktail, a mocktail, and some dessert. And our waitress was super nice. So that is, I believe, all I'll be eating. My teeth are brushed and the Invisalign is in, so I doubt that I will be motivated enough to take them out and I'm pretty full from dinner. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a full day of eating, 29 weeks pregnant edition. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna see while I'm still, while I still have 10 weeks left of pregnancy. Last thing, since this is a nutrition video, we are coming out with our second nutrition course. So we have a first nutrition course, which is called Habit Hacker. That's more of the intuitive eating style guidelines and finding out how to stack your habits in order to meet your nutrition goals. And then we're coming out next with Macro Mastery. So they're kind of like opposite sides of the spectrum. Both are really good skills for anybody to have awareness of and understand how to utilize both intuitive eating and something as detailed as macro counting. We wanted to build a course that had the macro option for people who are interested in doing that or a little more advanced in their nutrition strategies. So I'm gonna link the notification list down below because it comes out in a few weeks and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.